Good morning. It's Pat's Food Farm 2 Plus Tarot. It's a gorgeous day here today, 1st of October. The sun's shining, but it's quite cold outside. There's a nip to the air today, really autumn weather. I've got my um, working space, my tarot roll to, to sort out today. Um, I'm just hoping I'm going to have the energy. I feel like I'm coming down with a cold. Um, so if my nose is looking a bit red, it's because it's driving me mad sneezing and itching. My throat feels like sandpaper and my ears are feeling a bit on the weirdo side. So I thought I'd escape it. All the family have had it. It's gone through the house. My daughter's actually up, ill upstairs with a cold at the minute. Um, last couple of days I felt a bit like poo, but I just thought put that down to um, feeling a bit anxious and what I've been suffering from that quite a bit. So I just thought it was that time of the month where it seems to be that I have a few good weeks and then there's a period of time where um, it gets me really down and I thought I was just going through that phase but it looks like no it could be that I'm getting this cold that I've been trying not to, to get. So to tune myself up like we do I ordered myself a couple of decks. One's not coming till the end of the week and to tide me over I thought I'll go on Amazon Prime and I'll order one to come last night same day delivery and it came last night I haven't really had looked at it um, because I weren't feeling too great but it's it's one that um, I've been interested in looking at it's the moonology oracle cards the moon phases and what have you and that's something that I'm starting to get a bit um, interested in lately so I thought that might help um, they're by Yasmin Boland and the artwork is by Nix Rowan um, there is a book by the same author I haven't got that I've just got this deck but if I feel I need it then it's something I could I could um, um, later get but it's um comes in a nice matte box um feels lovely um it says the energy of the moon has a formidable effect on our everyday life use this gorgeously illustrated card to tap into our ancient wisdom for healing guidance and protection and learn how to work with our magical energy during each lunation. The accompanying guidebook reveals how to interpret the cards and work with them to create, plan and predict your life. Whenever you need to make an important decision, just pick a card and let the moon guide you. So, oh, let's see if I can open the box. Sometimes I'm a bit tight, aren't I, to start with? Inside the lid, you have got Let the Moon Be Your Guide. This, like I said, I think I said, was Hay House, the Hay House deck. And you get a, a good size little guidebook. A um, hundred and... Mm -mm -mm, 119 pages, is that? Yeah, 119 pages. But um, the last two pages about the artist and about the author. Um, you get a good contents at the first three, four pages is all contents. Then you get the introduction, um, what these cards are for, um, blessing the cards, the wisdom of the moon, the phases of the moon, uh, working with the cards, uh, tells you how the deck is structured, and the teaching, the elements, and then it goes into spreads. You get the Celtic cross. The three card spread, the new moon three card spread, the full moon three card spread, waxing moon four card spread, and waning moon four card spread. Then we get on to the cards, and then the first section are the moon phase cards. You get two pages, two pages of each card, and um, you just get a little black and white image at the top, and then it two pages, uh, well one and a half really, of text about the card, um, the meaning, the attune to the moon, um, additional meanings for this card and the teaching. And that goes all the way through, right up until page 117 where it then finishes. So it's a good little book, it's, it's quite a um, full book of what you need. And then we've got the cards. The cards are a lovely matte finish again. Um, that's the back of them, the phases of the moon. Um, they're not at all flimsy, but they're not too thick, so they're a nice card. 
and I do like these matte finishes. I don't really like a glossy finish because they stick and they tend to drive me up the wall. But um, these matte ones, they just feel so nice in your hand and to shuffle too. Um, so here we go, here's the cards. We've got a new moon, the wax and crescent moon, that's a gorgeous image. First quarter moon, Gibbous moon, that's a lovely card, full moon, Dis oh, I can't never say this word, Disamen disseminating moon, you'll know what I mean I'm sure, I can't speak, third quarter moon, Time for healing, balsamic moon. That's gorgeous. I love that. New moon in Aries. New moon in Taurus. And the Taurus, the bull. New moon in Gemini. These cards are lovely. New moon in Cancer. New moon in Leo. Look at that one. That's gorgeous. New moon in Virgo. New moon in Libra. New moon in Scorpio. New moon in Sagittarius. New moon in Capricorn. New moon in Aquarius. New moon in Pisces, and as you can see, they all have keywords at the top, so it's sort of meditate and contemplate. This one, the new moon. We now go on to the full moon. So we have the full moon in Aries, full moon in Taurus, full moon in Gemini. Full moon in Cancer, full moon in Leo, full moon in Virgo, full moon in Libra, oh, finger's not working, full moon in Scorpio, full moon in Sagittarius, Full moon in Capricorn. Full moon in Aquarius. Full moon in Pisces. Expect a powerful change. It's a new moon eclipse. Isn't that a gorgeous card? Full moon eclipse. Then we have the waxing moon. The waning moon. Void of course moon. We're going to have cardinal moon. Fixed moon, mutable moon, emotions are running high with super moon, blue moon, and then we have the south node and the north node. So that's all the cards. There's 44 cards in the deck, um, which is a quite a standard. Um, let's just try. They shuffle like a dream. They are really um, lovely to shuffle. Um, let's pull a card and have a look in the book and see what the message is for us today. Let's have a look. Just a quick, 
text message. So it's to Daisy what the book says. Oh, she doesn't want to come up. We got the cardinal moon. Be bold and make the first move. There we go. So there's the card. And let's have a look, see what it says in the book. Uh, page 104. There we go. So, oh, let's turn it this way. Now is the time to be bold, bossy even. Take matters into your own hands. Cardinal signs are powerful and self-starting. They're determined and great at organising. Drawing this card strongly suggests that you're going to need to be all those things to get your ideal resolution or position in the situation you're asking about. This card may challenge you on how strongly you really want something. If you're worrying about a situation, it is a suggestion to be less passive. Instead, take an assertive stance as you steer events where you want them to go. Speak up for what you want. It's, if you're serious about sorting things out, you may need to take the lead in some way. So step up as a leader. So that's the message. Um, the attune to the moon is I am taking charge of my destiny. Additional meanings for this card. Be bold and follow your heart and your emotions. Avoid recklessness or moving too fast. Coming into your power, the time for action is now. And ask Ganesha, the Hindu elephant god, for help. So that's like the um, additional meanings. And then the teaching. In astrology, there are three quadruplicities, cardinal, fixed and mutable. The cardinal signs are Aries, Cancer, Libra and Capricorn. Remember, we all each have all these 12 signs in our chart for different parts of our lives. It's just the way the astrological wheel works. These are the signs that like to get things started and which are the natural leaders no matter when you draw this card it's a sign that something new is starting and you quite possibly need to take the lead on it so you that's the sort of information you get for each card so that's the card that i've just read out um with the message that that holds what's from the book so um i think that they, they give a, a, a lot of information um with the card so it can be used just as novel if you didn't want to use it for the moon part of it as well i'm going to try using it as um putting the card out of what moon we're at etc but i should also try them as um an oracle also um but it's a nice little deck i'm glad i got that and for 10 pounds roughly it's nothing is it do you know what i mean so it'll probably give me something to do today while i'm trying to put my feet up and not do too much and hopefully this cold won't get hold of me. So I hope that you're all well wherever you are. And uh, you have a good day or evening. And I'll see you soon. Thank you for watching. Bye.